President Donald Trump took center stage at the United Nations General Assembly today. During his first speech to the organization, he talked about a wide range of issues, including sovereignty, security, and prosperity. But as Meg Oliver tells us, North Korea and Iran received the harshest criticism. President Donald Trump showcased his America First policy during a spirited 41 minute address to the United Nations General Assembly. In America, we do not seek to impose our way of life on anyone, but rather to let it shine as an example for everyone to watch. As President of the United States, I will always put America first. Mr. Trump called on world leaders to isolate North Korea's Kim Jong un and discourage his nuclear weapons ambitions. But the president also warned The United States has great strength and patience, but if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. The president rebuked Iran for supporting terrorism and called the international agreement to freeze its nuclear program a one-sided deal. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it. Believe me. The president had tough talk for the leadership of the U.N., demanding major reforms to the organization to make them more effective at stopping threats around the globe. It is a massive source of embarrassment to the United Nations that some governments with egregious human rights records sit on the UN Human Rights Council. The president did not mention Russia or its president Vladimir Putin who was not at the UN. Meg Oliver, CBS News, the United Nations.